Oh, gone far too fast. Let's try and see. No, definitely not going to be using the curve next time. Welcome to another video. Today we're at Hockenheim and as you can probably see, we are testing the new race car, the new AMG GT3 uh, with the new bodywork. I'll give you a little tour. So we've got two of them here today. We've got this one, obviously you can see that all the new profile is different, all the front splitter. This front grille is obviously pretty incredible. We're now running the road car headlights as well as some additional lighting just to, to brighten the way obviously for like the, the tracks at Nürburgring Spa where it's pitch black and we're doing 250 kilometers an hour it helps that uh, we're, we're able to see where we're going so we've got the new lights new styling obviously uh, still the, the shark nose but with the massive opening now for the additional cooling for the brake system so we've got all the vents in here driver cooling engine cooling so we've still got the louvers that we have on the old car. This one's a little dirty, it's already been out this morning. To be honest, inside is pretty much the same. Um, on this car, we're actually using the original steering wheel that we use on our current model. But the new steering wheels have got the rubber hand grips instead. Uh, we've got the new uh, Bosch rear view camera. So when this is turned on, we'll As you can see, we've got the rear view camera. Okay, it's just unfortunately uh, in the workshop right now, so uh, we can't see too much there, but that's gonna come in really handy. Obviously, we've <laughs> got a ton of uh, electronics uh, helping us, and uh, yeah, but as, as far as the race car goes, it's very similar uh, to the current spec AMG GT3 that we've been using since 2016. At the end of the day, the current car is a brilliant car and so they've changed some of the styling um, and just fine-tuned any bits that they believe need updating. Right, okay, so we're at Hockenheim. We're on stone cold, brand new wet tires. Pretty slippy, super cold out, beautiful sunny day, but the track is a bit wet. So we'll see how it looks. Wait, okay, a little bit too sharp on the wheel. Gotta be a little bit careful so there's a dry line starting to appear. wet racing line for now unless I feel that I'm able to go onto some of the dry areas and uh, take advantage of the dry track. Still cold. There's only a few of us running today so it's going to take a while to dry up unfortunately. weather has not been so kind to us this morning we should get some pretty good dry running this afternoon though I believe section. There we go, let's kick up some of the spray. And I'm 
We're now starting the first flight lap in the wet, so not much we can do through turn one. Super slippy, use a little bit of the curve, running all the way around the outside. Can try and keep the wheel as straight as possible under the gantry. I just right on the natural dry line right now. So we'll take advantage of that, go miss the apex just a little bit. No traction control this thing. It's a little bit dry around the outside here, so now we can go full power. Stay with the curve, stay with the white line. Minimal steering, car will always accelerate as fast as possible with all four wheels going in the same direction. So we're going to go over towards the generic wet line for the braking zone. So we're going to brake at the 150 meter board. Then go across, go super deep, come all the way back, come out really tight. And that allows us to accelerate nice and firm. We're up on the time, half a second now. I'm going to nurse it through the little kink take it easy through here again we're going to break off line because it's wet we're going to cross we're going to have to really slow it down here not much we can do for that section of the track hard on the power we're going to take it easy here can't do much around the outside just roll the extra speed that we can get away with under the gantry heading into the arena now so nice and wide around the outside again avoiding that rubber line we're going to break to the inside, or from the inside, and now we're going to go to the outside. Use that bit of extra camber that we get given. Short shift through here, over the kerb, over the kerb again, going into the final corner. This is where all the F1 cars were going off during the Grand Prix when it rained. So make sure we get it nice and stable through there. Full power. In fact, I'm going to go up, click on the traction control like it's just holding me back just a little bit oh gone far too fast let's try and see no definitely not going to be using the curve next time super slippy so we'll go for a second lap now see if we can improve on our time so even though we're in a little quick if you turn one using that curve lost us some time then. so go more generic wet line through there again stretching up now we're up on the time two tons our breath back just a little bit. Right, so we're going to be heading into the gantry looking at the 150 meter board. Bang hard on the brakes. Maximize the brakes, go super deep again. Full power, straighten up. Off we go. A little bit of movement on the white line. Let's see if we can carry just a little bit more speed through here this time. Oh no, a little bit too much. Careful of the curb braking down to second gear I ah, just touched the white line and you saw the snap the sudden loss of grip easy get all the way through this section of the track ah, being greedy that's that extra traction control setting that I've just asked for just making a little bit looser but we are up on time so there has been an improvement in lap time so it's a little bit more wild but anyway we're able to get away with it all the way around again using the camber of course the top of the track will always drive first cut across the curb use that little bit of dry tarmac that we have right in the very edge of the circuit squeezing the power full power off we go maximize all the track use the track limits that's two laps complete
copy that box this lap.